This video was not paid for or sponsored by any of the brands discussed in this video. Hello guys, this is Michael, also known as Laser Sniper, and I'm back again for a episode of Discovering Alcohol. Sorry about missing last week, there was a lot of stuff going on and I couldn't actually take the time to just sit down and relax with a, with a drink, so unfortunately I had to skip a week. Sorry about that. This week, I partook in a pale ale brought to me by my brother called Mirror Pond Pale Ale, created by Dashutes. The des, the shoots. I th I think that's the shoots, but it's obviously German. Do not know how to pronounce German, so let's go with the shoots right now. Uh, it's a five percent alcohol um, alcohol rating. Man, it's it's been a little while. Um, I forget how to say it. I guess just alcohol percentage. How much is actually in here? I feel like there's a more technical term for it, but um, I don't know it right now. I'm really tired. It's kind of late and I need to get up early, but I need to do this video. So this pale ale, I've had an Indian pale ale before. I forget exactly what it was called. I'd, ha I'd have to pull up my notes. Yes, I do have notes uh, for this show. But I don't remember exactly what it was called. But that was on recommendation from a friend of mine. And it was actually good. It smelled awful. But it actually tasted really well. Uh, really nice. This particularly, it... It was okay. But it, had, it was much stronger and sharper than the other pale ale that I had. And not necessarily good strong. It was it was very full of not mm, not flavor, but I'm still developing my tastes when it comes to alcohol. So it I find it harder to distinct uh, have um describe distinct tastes. Personally, I didn't couldn't find a taste but it did it was much stronger than the indian pale ale and it was also sharper much more not punchy as it hits me it's just as it went down it felt i i don't know how to describe it other than sharp as in that the alcohol just hit my taste buds and it felt piercing that sounds bad, but it wasn't as bad as I'm, I'm attempting to describe it as. Uh, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't horrible. Um, it was alright, honestly. I'm, I'm trying to think. There was something else I wanted to bring up. Um, oh, that's right. I was going to mention it the last week, the episode I wasn't able to do. But I had noticed... Um, and because I couldn't get my hands all go out, get my hands on any new alcohol, I went ahead and did a little experiment. I went ahead and uh, grabbed a Negra Mandela, Mandel, a Negra Mandelo, Mandela. Wow, I can't believe it. I had that name down, and now I'm screwing it up. Um, I went and grabbed a Negra, and I. Uh, that was the first beer that I had, if you guys remember. And I went ahead and tasted it to see if... Because if you've been listening, you know that I'm thinking that that aftertaste, I think, is an alcohol, was I was going away. And I wasn't sure if that was me getting different types of alcohol or me getting used to the taste. Acquiring a taste, rather, for alcohol. So I went ahead, went back, and tried the Negra again to just see if, see which one it was. And it seems that I've just been acquiring a taste for alcohol. It didn't hit me as bad, uh, it, not hit me as bad, it wasn't as distasteful as when I had first, uh, 
drinking drunken the negra so yeah i'm hoping that eventually i'll be able to distinguish actual tastes from these but for now it's very very vague when it comes to my descriptions hopefully i get more detailed or hopefully i can become more detailed i want to do that but that's it for this episode honestly Join me again next week where I mm, I might have something special planned for next week. Well, at least for me. See you guys next time. This has been Michael, also known as Laser Sniper. Nope, other way around. This has been Laser Sniper, also known as Michael. See you guys next time.